Chattanooga has been named the best town of 2015. Yeah, it was down to the wire last night in the running for Outside Magazine's best town ever. Chattanooga came out on top again. The scenic city won first place for best town in the U.S. according to Outdoor Magazine. The best town ever. Just what does it take to be named the best town ever by Outside Magazine? Well, sure, it takes things like the river and the mountains and great museums and a wonderful downtown and our great quality of life. But that's not all it takes. To be named the best town ever, you also have to have a lot of other things that are the best. And according to the Chattanooga Times Free Press, our town has more than 170 categories of the best. Not just the best but the best of the best. And that's why wannabe towns like Boone, North Carolina and Port Angeles, Washington are always going to be on the outside looking in. Or in this case, uh, on the outside looking at us on the inside of outside, uh, whatever. The important thing is that we've got all of these great best of the best when other towns don't. Other towns don't have the best pest control and the best mattress store and the best laundromat and the best floor covering outlet. But here in Chattanooga, we've got them all. Well, I'm here at the Chattanooga Allergy Clinic, the best of the best Cute. when it comes to allergy clinics. And with me is Dr. Mark Cromie, one of the partners here at the clinic. Cute. Dr. Cromie, tell me, what does it take to be the best of the best when it comes to allergy clinics? It's all about patient loyalty. They just keep coming back week after week. It's unbelievable. Cute. Matter of fact, I have a complimentary prescription for you right here. Well, thank you. Inhale nasally three times a day. Mm -hmm. Well, this is nothing more than a jar of black pepper. Well, give me a call if the sneezing doesn't stop. This is Heritage Funeral Home, the best of the best when it comes to uh, transporting you to your final destination, wherever that may be. Well, let's go find out why. With me now is Russell Freeberg. He's the founder of Heritage Funeral Home. Russell, tell us, what do you owe your success to? I suspect it has something to do with the cars. You want to go see them? Sure. These cars are so sleek and stylish. It's a ride to die for. Do you want to go for a spin? Well, as long as I can sit up front. You may want to be back here. It's so peaceful. Just before you passed away, these were the very last words that you said. This is what your wall looks like if you're the best of the best when it comes to financial institutions. Well, we're here inside the main branch of First Tennessee Bank with Bank President Keith Sanford. Uh, Keith, tell me, uh, why do you think the bank is so popular when it comes to votes like these? Community spirit. First Tennessee supports community events of all types. <laughs> Thank you for your vote, Mrs. Russell. Community spirit. Of uh, course. Are you sure there's uh, maybe not another reason why people voted for you? Can-do attitude. Our borrowers really appreciate a can-do attitude. Thank you for your vote, Mr. Smith. Are you fairly certain there's not some other reason why people love the bank? Community service. Our folks are involved in all types of community service. Mrs. Cunningham, thank you so much for your vote. But Keith, I voted five times. God bless you, Mrs. Cunningham. As I said, community service. Well, now I'm here with Jim Haley. He's the managing partner of Miller & Martin, voted once again the best of the best for law firms. Jim, why is it that Miller & Martin seems to keep winning the best of the best for law firms? Jim, one word, 
affordability. We have been in business for over 148 years because we have never cost our clients more than an arm and a leg. Uh, that sounds good, Jim, but, but more and more firms are taken to the airwaves with marketing and advertising. How do you hope to stay ahead of the competition? Jim, I am so glad you asked. Guys, come on in. Ready, guys, key of C. If your car's been in a wreck and you've got a painful neck, or you've just found out your spouse is a cheating, lying louse, if you have someone to sue, Miller Martin's here for you. Miller! And hey, Martin! That's the way to go! Call 756 Mr. Haley, American Bar Association Ethics Board on line one. Gosh. With lawyers like that, is it any wonder that we're the best town ever? You know, but that's not all of it. We've managed to uncover some other things that are the best. Let's just call it the best of the rest. Well, I'm here with Mike Schufer, the executive director of the best convention center in Chattanooga. Mike, what do you think was the deciding factor? I think it probably had something to do with the fact that we're the only convention center. Well, that's a strategy that seems to be working well for you, Mike. Uh, keep up the good work. I'm here with John Reiner, captain of the Southern Bell Riverboat, the best riverboat in Chattanooga. John, it must have taken a lot of hard work to be named the best riverboat in Chattanooga. Darn straight. We just had to figure out how to get the other riverboat shipped down to Mississippi. So you're telling me you're not only the best riverboat in Chattanooga, but you're the only riverboat in Chattanooga. I'm beginning to detect a trend here. We've got an audience now with the best of the rest for city police chiefs. Uh, Chief Fletcher? Is this not a good time, Chief? Uh, no, it's really not. Uh... Law & Order Magazine is holding the competition for the best police department ever, and I'm trying to vote as many ways as I can. I can't vote on that. Must have gotten an email from Bob Doak. William Shakespeare, the best writer ever. And who knew he was from Chattanooga? Maybe not the best baseball but it certainly is the biggest. The best man-sized toad, which means I will soon have the worst man-sized warts. So as you can see, from public art to civil servants to carousels to funeral homes, we've got a lot of the best of the best here in Chattanooga. And if you can't be one of the best of the best, you can always be one of the best of the rest. The question is, how are we going to take all of this great notoriety and turn it into cash in the cash register? Let's talk to the guy who's got that job. So Mr. Doak, is the guy who gets to promote the best town ever. And from our exploration, there certainly are a lot of the bests of the best in Chattanooga. Just out of curiosity, what is your favorite best of the best in Chattanooga? Hands down, it's the best cruise down the river. On the Southern Bell? Uh, no. This cruise is much better than that. 